key to the inpatient rehab stay is that you have a dedicated team with a tremendous amount of experience in the care of children post rhizotomy. And that's just something that um, is unique to our, our program and a real strength. About three or four days after the surgery, we transition the children to our rehab unit. And the children are provided intensive services. They're participating in three plus hours, typically, of therapy a day. All of her muscles are working together, um, and we call it in synergy. So when she tries to even just move her ankle, all of her muscles are activating. So what we're trying to do is to get just one muscle to activate at a time so that she has more control over what her body's doing when she's trying to move. So we're going to go up, down, up, down. She's counting. Three, four. One more. One more time on left foot. And that child may initially be weak, and then with the intensive rehab that we provide after the procedure, we would expect them to gain strength. I knew she was going to be weak, but I didn't know how weak. I couldn't just set her down even on the floor or stand her up in between my legs because she couldn't physically do that. She can now, but right after surgery she couldn't. And hopefully by the end we'd like to see her doing what she was doing prior to the surgery but better. So with a better pattern, with more strength, mm -hmm. being more upright, and just easier Lisa. movement. Good girl, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. Yeah. Okay, let go. Ah, oh, good girl. Family education and parents being on board with everything is really important kind of throughout her stay. You can do it onto your back. And it changes as we go along. So the things that we do in the beginning aren't necessarily what she'll be doing when she's going home. Okay, are you ready to go? Okay. Before surgery, she couldn't even spread her legs apart or put them straight. Now spreading oh, her legs ready? apart and putting them ready? straight is one of the easiest things for her to do. She can stand better, she has better balance. It's almost unheard of uh, in most communities, big or small, to actually get three or four hours of therapy as an outpatient. I know other places send them home the three days after surgery, and I didn't think that we would be able to do that. Outpatient rehab would not be enough. We wouldn't be as far as we are today going home if we had to be outpatient. Kick them out there, there you go. Stuck. Good job. Was that tough work? Huh? Oh, you did it. That's all I wanted to see you do. I could go home now. <laughs>